Hey YouTube, time to do another video of the basement fish room. Stay tuned for that. Alright YouTube, it's Brian again. Just kind of going to do a little quick uh, update on the basement fish room. It's been a few weeks since I uh, kind of did my first video of everything that had gone on and um, not a lot has changed, but uh, there's some few things that have changed and a, and a couple of things that are about to change, so thought I would do a video. Um, you can see there's no divider in the Hoga tank, first of all. Male Hoga is in here doing okay. Um, his female is missing at the present time, missing in action. Um, I decided to uh, kind of borrow her to, uh, to Mike. And uh, you probably saw that if you watch his videos uh, in a video earlier this week. But she's over there um, in a separate tank, healing up a little bit from her latest bashing. Um, I've been continuously taking the, the divider out of this tank and um, seeing if they'll get along. And um, they go for two, three days and, and, and they're okay. And she's all in breeding dress and her tube starts to drop. but. Um, he pushes her along a little too much and just um, ends up uh, nipping her up pretty good and this last time they did some good lip locking and they both um, had some pretty good scars on their lips but um, he's doing all right though um, he, definitely a, a difference in uh, in his attitude or temperament um, he used to just come for food when I came down here and now when I come down here, I'll even try to imitate it here, and I go up to the top and open the lid, that's what I'm doing right now, that's what he does every time. It's just the weirdest thing, and the only thing I can attribute it to is uh, that the female's not in here, whether divided or not. Um, he's still eating the food, but usually doesn't eat it until it sinks, so. Um, the the Bacordi that I got for, um, for dithers in here, um, they're doing fine just schooling around together for the most part um, one of them came up dead uh, a couple weeks ago I think the male um, killed him the male Hoga um, it was definitely you could tell that another fish had got to him um, so but yeah um, that's what's going on in here um, not much else to report in that tank um, below we got the uh, gorillas black umbies I've got uh, a couple more than what I had originally last time you saw the video. Uh, Mike decided he wanted to get rid of the rest of his, uh, so he told me to come over and take them. The sweet thing about it is I got this beast right here. If you watch Mike's videos, uh, you remember he had one that he said, had been saying that he wanted to keep and grow out, and then a couple videos ago he said he wanted to get rid of it. Um, that's him. Total dominant guy in the tank, but... Um, glad I got my hands on him that's pretty sweet but these guys are growing fast especially a couple of them this guy right here then there's one over here um, this is the little peewee of the tank right here but I've got there must be I think nine in here now so we'll see what happens see if we can get a pair out of it and then kind of go from there they're doing great um, they eat like pigs they just pound the Southern Delight Power Feed. I'll go ahead and throw a little bit in right now just so you can kind of see. So anyway, that's the, uh, the Gorillas Black. Uh, moving on over here. This is the tank, if you remember, that I had the Xylos in, Xyloensis. Um, since the last time I did a video down here, um, I got another female, which is the one you can see right here. Um, and that, that also came from Mike. And um, what uh, what I was doing was uh, 
gonna see if uh, maybe she would get along better with my male well not long after that and no no fault of this fish or anything but um, I didn't catch it quick enough my male ended up dying from hole in the head and then so I just had two females in here and they were doing just fine and um, actually the female I had originally was kind of the dominant one and then all of a sudden overnight one day she just thrashed the other female and um, there was no bringing her back she was pretty much on her last leg when I woke up in the morning and came down here so I'm down to just one of the xyloensis um, probably gonna uh, get rid of her and just start with something different in this tank probably just do a wet pet in this tank versus trying to pair anything off it's a 90 gallon um, but we'll see what happens got a couple ideas um, and then down here we got the 75 gallon planted tank kind of my grow out planted tank tons of star grass reaching all the way up here to the top um, growing some blixa in here some aromatica some ludwigia repens a uh, bunch of uh, rotala indica got a little hygroest japan so um, a few different things in there aromatica reaching up towards the top um, and then over here we've got the uh, Rio Mag Umbi Fry grow out 55 gallon these guys are uh, growing like weeds doing good um, really digging the uh, the nano krill they're eating away at it um, they're gonna go in here real soon as you can see I got uh, two more 125s all ready to go stands built got the tanks tops everything just uh, probably within the next couple of days gonna uh, add gravel and uh, I've got uh, canisters that are already cycling so I'll be able to instantly add fish so good to go there um, and then uh, in the other tank probably this one I think the real bags will go on top I'm not sure but um, I'm uh, working on uh, trying to get some red devils, so um, that would be cool to grow some of them out. But yeah, the real mags are doing great. Their tank's uh, pretty dirty right now. i got to clean it out. You get this many fish in here, and you're getting just tons of waste. So then something I didn't expect to do, but uh, ended up happening again. If you look at this chunk of gel food down here, we got a swarm of Venustus fry. Big sexy and his female. Uh, they uh, spawned again. Just happened to one day notice uh, that she had the puff mouth. And so I uh, swiped her out of here, out of her tank, and put her down in this 40 gallon. And within a day or two, um, she, uh, she spit the fry. And uh, they're all doing great. Um, probably at least 40 of them. Most of them are, are right in this general area right now. Sorry, the glass has really got a ton of algae on it. I haven't cleaned the glass in this tank forever, but I'm going to get rid of all the gravel that's left in here and just go bare bottom with this one. But So that's what I got going on there. It's pretty fun to watch these guys. Just going to town on the gel food. This is a, a gel food mix that I made. Um, this is the, uh, well not a mix, but it's a small cichlid from Southern Delight, um, made it into a gel food, so pretty cool. But yeah, that's what's going on right now in the basement fish room. Um, the only other plans that I got are, I've got a 20 long and two 10 gallons that I'm going to set up and kind of put at the end over here. I'm going to build a wooden stand first for these two tanks. Maybe do a triple stand and, and add a 75 gallon to that and then... 20 long, two tens that I'll be using just to uh, probably breed some shrimp in or something or use as hospital tanks, whatever. So, but yeah, other than that, everything's doing good. Um, Hog is growing. Love watching this guy. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching and um, make sure you subscribe to uh, all the members of Team Aquatic Support um, on YouTube. Their links will be below. Make sure you check out the Team Aquatic Support pages. You get the Aquatic Support Systems uh, Facebook page and the Aquatic Support Community page. Uh, make sure you go over and get involved with both of those.
Other than that, that's all I got for you today, guys. Give you one quick look at this beast here. And we'll talk later.